I'd like to debrief with you a little bit about the draw polygon assignment so that I know that you got all the important uh, ideas from creating functions and, and how we do that in Python. Uh, and so what I've done is I've, I've got here a solution to the draw polygon um, assignment, but it's not a very good one. And I'm going to talk about why and how we can make it uh, better and how we want to be writing and using functions from here on out. So you can see here I've got my draw polygon function and I've got a loop and it loops in range sides and then moves the pen forward a length and, and turns by an angle. And then outside the function I've defined my pen and my window and then I've asked the user how many sides she wants and what she wants her length to be and then I calculate the angle before I draw the polygon. And when I run this function everything seems to be just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just to show that. Got my window. How many sides for my polygon? Let's make it a uh, octagon and I want each side to be 40 and lo and behold it draws me an octagon with sides 40 so everything looks great the problem is is that my draw polygon function can only draw polygons based on what the user has typed in for sides and length and so that might not be I shouldn't say that might not be that's not the behavior that we want because there might be the case where I want to make a computer game, a video game, and I know what my character is supposed to have, a head that's a pentagon, and I want to draw a pentagon. Well, I don't want to have to ask the user how many sides or what the length should be. I shouldn't depend on these variables that are defined outside of my function. These variables, pen, window, sides, length, and angle, these are what we call global variables. And we call them global variables because they are defined outside of any uh, function. We talk about scope. Okay, so the, the scope of those variables is global. They are valid anywhere in the function, or excuse me, anywhere in the file, um, anywhere in the, in the kernel we're running it. So when we refer to those variables inside the function, we're referring to these global variables. But that means that I can't use this function apart from these variables. So for instance, I should be able to take this function cut and paste it into a new file along with my turtle stuff. Okay, I'll create a pen and a window. And I should be able to draw a polygon here. I'd like to draw a pentagon with side 60. But if I try to do this, I can't because it tells me that the draw polygon function doesn't take any arguments and I gave two. I gave these two arguments but there aren't slots for those arguments. And even if I gave those are those slots, call it like num sides and um, side length. If I try to run this function again, it still tells me I have an error because it says sides is not defined and I'm referring to a variable that was not defined in this function and so this function doesn't work it only works if I've defined these global variables and we don't want to behave that way that's a really dangerous thing to do in programming what I asked you to do and the right way to do this is to give the function arguments and so we don't want to refer to anything that hasn't been defined within the function that includes the pen this pen was not defined in the function, so this function is dependent upon something that was defined outside of itself. That's not good. So we're going to pass in three arguments. We can call them whatever we like. I'm going to call the pen p, I'm going to call the number of sides num sides, and I'm going to call the length side length. And instead of referring to sides here, which was not defined in this function, I'm going to refer to the input num sides. And instead of referring to the length, which was defined in the global scope outside of this function, I'm going to refer to side length. I'm also going to get rid of the references to pen because that was not defined in this function. Now angle, angle wasn't defined in here either. That's a no-no. I shouldn't be referring to it. 
If I want angle, I should define it inside the function, and that's what I'm going to do. I will define angle to be 360 divided by sides, but not sides because that's not defined in the function. Num sides. Okay? Now you might look at this and say, well, what's the difference? Why? What's the point? The point here is that now this function takes in these values from the function call. Okay? And it's not dependent on any particular global variables. I can now pass in these values, the pen, the sides, and the length, and these values will go into these slots. Okay, you can think of these as empty boxes waiting for values. And so they're going to go into those slots, and then those values are going to get used in here. And so this right now will work just the same as it did before. It will ask me how many sides do I want, and I can say 5, and I can say 60, and it will go ahead and draw me a pentagon, right? The thing is, though, now not only can I do that, I can draw another polygon that's not at all dependent on pen sides and length. Now, I still need a pen, so I'll pass in pen, but I could pass in a different pen if I wanted to. And I could make this a 10-sided figure with sides of 25. And now, I, won't, I don't even have to use the sides and length variable. This will just plain old draw me, except I still ask the question, uh, 6 and 6. This will now draw me a 10-sided figure with side lengths 25. Okay. Not only that, if I like this function, I can copy it, just the function itself, and I can paste it into a new file. Somebody else, is, somebody else wants to use this function, go ahead, put that in there. And now this program, I need a pen, so I'll pass in pen. I'm passing in this pen. I run this. And this program now draws me a pentagon, right, of side length 60, okay? So it's very important, a key idea in function, writing functions and designing functions, is that we provide all of the information that the function needs in its inputs, in its parameter list, which you see here. And we don't refer to anything not in the parameter list or defined within the function in the function. So nothing that, no variable that I've referenced in the function comes from anywhere other than the parameter list or something I defined like angle within the function itself. Okay, really key idea. So um, keep that in mind as you continue to, to write functions in this class.